past few days, I've been having pain in my lower right ab. At first, I thought it was gas or something stomach related, and then as my stomach wasn't bothering me, I realized that that's not it. So I'm hoping now that it's just like a pulled muscle because I tried to do a plank a few days ago for the first time in years, and I think I pulled the muscle. I hope that's what it is because it hurts really bad sometimes. These are like two dollars each, but to actually three dollars each. They have good ingredients and they taste good, and they fill me up, so I still buy them. But they're still so expensive. I've been staying at my grandparents' house for a few days, and I'm just packing up my stuff to go home. But I'm going to wash my face and brush my teeth this is the toothpaste i use because i don't use fluoride toothpaste i like this one by Burt's bees it's the one that when i use it i don't get cavities i've tried other ones and then i've gotten cavities i don't know is it a coincidence with what i was eating when i got cavities or what but i like the way this one makes my teeth feel the tea i was making in the previous clip this chamomile the flowers this plants were from my grandparents yard that's homegrown chamomile and you boil it and then you strain out the chamomile flowers and the stems but in the store they also have like the tea bags these aren't as strong as if you actually brew it yourself but they help my stomach when i need them and they don't have caffeine in it because it's a herbal tea Next, I have to wash my retainers because I haven't been wearing them at night time because they've been annoying me and I so I wake up in the middle of the night and take them out. So I have to wear them during the day otherwise my teeth will move. I haven't worn my retainer for only like three days and my bottom retainer is already like tight. If you hear me lisping, that's why. I just recently got this new brush from Amazon and it's supposed to not like pull out your hair because I still have hair falling out since I had COVID. Before I had one of the wet brushes that are like, they're like the palm of your hand. It, they're really small brushes like this size and they were good for a while, but then it started to rip out my hair too. And this one is even better. It moves with the hair and it's very flexible like, and it's also partially made from recycled plastic. Pretty sure it was $7 from Amazon. I'll link it in the description. And no matter what I do, like, my hair always looks greasy. I swear, I wash it every day, and I've tried not washing it every day to see if my hair needs to get used to not washing it every day. And it's still, no matter what, it's always greasy. Ever since I had COVID, I don't know what's the problem. I've been to the endocrinologist, there's no problem there. I've been to the, I've had a physical, I've been to a neurologist, I've been to an allergist, I've been to stomach doctors. Unless it's stress, and that's the problem. I brought my skateboarding stuff because I wanted to try to skateboard for the first time in a while because I haven't skateboarded since I've been like, dizzy and stuff for a few years and I wanted to just try it very, very slowly. But ever since I had the pulled muscle on my lower right side, I didn't want to try to skateboard because I haven't done it in a while so I'll probably have some mistakes and I don't want to pull the muscle worse so that's why I'm not going to skateboard. I just took a shower and now I'm doing some laundry. Just washing my sheets and some dirty clothes. Salamander. <laughs> just walking around the yard and I calculated with a pedometer app that if you walk around the yard 10 times, then it equals a mile. But I don't think I'm gonna be able to do 10 because I walked around three times and I'm already really tired. It's hot out and it is also hills. It's not like flat. <laughs> My hair is crazy.